Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be discussing some theory ideas for Kagami in Season 5. We already did Tomoe, and I do think Kagami and Tomoe's stories next season will be linked, which makes sense since they are related. <laughs> so I thought it made sense to look at Kagami next. If you remember from my Tomoe video though, I didn't think Kagami would be having a good time next season, so let's talk about why. So, as we all know, Kagami's relationship with her mum was a bit rocky towards the end of the last season. Tomoe wanted Kagami and Adrian to be together. Kagami was like, mum, no, stop, <laughs> and ended up in a relationship with Felix. But in 19 Pretension, Tomoe did take Kagami's Amok, which, thank God, Felix has swapped it. The Amok Tomoe has is a fake one. But to me, that absolutely meant that Tomoe wanted to control Kagami, even if she can't tell she has a fake one. If she has Kagami's Amok, she can do anything she wants with or to her daughter, which is just horrible. Tomoe and Gabriel Babes also took Kagami and Adrian to London to be safe and when they both escaped they ended up putting them in these white rooms. Now after the white room scenes the only other times we see Kagami is at the pool party and in like the brand new too big of a hero team lineup sort of scenes and while she seems completely fine I don't know what her exact emotional state is since she hasn't said anything and I also have no idea what her relationship is like with her mum. But given everything that happened since pretension, I don't think it ended up being good. It's evil. So this next season I'm sure Kagami will be needed sporadically for saving the day and also patrolling and I totally see her being paired up with Felix for that so they can go on romantic dates on a rooftop. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. So while we've never seen what Kagami's home life is like, she's going to be noticeably more absent than she previously was. And Tomoe being blind doesn't mean she won't notice. And to her, she is still in possession of her daughter's amok. We know it's fake, but at the minute, Tomoe doesn't. So if at any point Kagami tries to stand up to her mum, like for example, Tomoe doesn't know that Kagami and Felix are dating yet. And I would think that Tomoe would be against it since as much as Felix looks like Adrian, he still is not Adrian, I think her mum will absolutely try and control her as a result of that. And this is what I'm kind of thinking will happen. Kagami will basically pretend to be under her control because remember Felix got a fake of her ring and returned the real one to Kagami at the end of pretension and in the spiel she reveals to Kagami about how much power she has and what she did with the alliance rings because remember no one really knows about this. Marinette still somehow <laughs> never figured it out which isn't a surprise but not even Felix figured it out. Like god you know it's serious when some rings have better plot armor than Felix who is a walking plot device. I can't help but feel so disappointed. And then Tomoe will forbid Kagami to tell anyone. But of course, Tomoe has a fake amok. So Kagami can go and tell whoever she wants. And I think she'll run straight to Ladybug slash Marinette because I still don't understand why Kagami needed to know Marinette's identity since representation was absolutely useless. Now, I don't think something like this will happen until perhaps the end of the season and we see Kagami and Tomoe's relationship get worse and worse and worse progressively until Tomoe is like, well, I have no choice but to control my daughter. Why do all these rich parents abuse their kids so much. I <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Kagami will tell Marinette and of course Felix, but not Adrian. Let's forget about Adrian. Am I right? That actually sound quite nice. We will talk about him in a minute. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting about him. I hope Felix with his big ass brain might be like, huh, well, if she worked with Gaby Baby, who's not to say she's not working with the new Butterfly Miraculous holder? And the kids might be like, okay, guess we've got to do something about that, which would lead to the showdown in what is probably a two-part finale, because apart from season one, all seasons end that way. Also, I do feel like Tomoe could be doing other sinister things besides helping Lila, since we know that she more than likely didn't get what she wanted from working with Gaby, which I think, but I'm not certain, was for Adrian Kagami to get married and have 60 children. But it seems that Tomoe away didn't get what she want, whatever that actually was, and since she also has no guarantee that she'll end up working with a new Butterfly Miraculous holder, I think she's doing other things as well. So I noticed on the new images of Paris in the post-Wish recreation scenes is the Sarugi logo. Tomoe's technology is being used all over Paris, so even if Tomoe really doesn't end up helping Lila, the city is going to be relying on her to basically run. And I think Kagami and the other kids could basically be a bit like, well, we could confront my mum, 
but I also think it might be a bad idea considering how much control and influence she has over Paris. But if Tomoe is working with Lila as well, perhaps if Kagami has to run away from her mum by transforming to get away once she's found out what Tomoe is doing, and through one of Lila's Akumas, Tomoe is akumatized and she and Lila work together to find Kagami and perhaps seize her real Amok and her Miraculous. And now moving on to Adrian. So as we saw in Emotion, Felix knew Kagami was a sentient monster because he sensed her Amok. And we see when Natalie is still Mayura that she knows Feast is sentient because he swallowed his Amok. And of course in Recreation we saw Adrian put on the twin wedding rings, which is where his Amok is. So I would assume in the hero lineup in Recreation, Felix already knew his cousin is Cat Noir. And because Felix, much like like Nino can't keep his mouth shut, will tell Kagami, although hopefully he won't, you know, put on an interpretive play for her and he'll just, you know, tell her it straight to her face. <laughs> what whose idea was that? Anyway, what they will do with this information, I am unsure, but I definitely think it will put things into perspective for them, and that the two of them will perhaps consider telling Adrian who his dad was. You know, it's one thing for Adrian's dad to have been Hawk Daddy, and it's a whole other thing for Adrian to have been fighting him the whole time, which just puts the situation to so much perspective and makes it so much more serious. But before they can make their decision, Ladybug tells Cat Noir who Hawk Moth was, which affects Cat Noir deeper than Ladybug could understand, because obviously she doesn't know he's Adrian, and it's up to Felix and Kagami to try and sort them out but without revealing to Marinette that Cat Noir is Adrian. So there you go besties, that's what I think Kagami's going to be up to. I'm also not the biggest shipper of Felix and Kagami but I actually am looking forward to some cute scenes for them so I hope we get that as well as some really adorable scenes between Long and Dusu and also just you know Kagami and Long, I think it'll be cute, I love Kwame interaction. Anyway besties, I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.